Office is now a service. Um, and so it's not about following Office on your device, it's about following you as a person. And so think about Office as um, signing into Office using any device um, wherever you are in the world, um, whether you're on a Windows tablet, whether you're on a phone uh, or a PC. Um, and so the Office 365 SKU um, you know, comes with the Office you know and love, um, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and OneNote. But we've added a ton of value into the SKU, um, starting with more apps. And so we've added Outlook, Publisher, and Access. We've also understood the need for, for people to store and access information. And so storage plays a large role in that. Currently, you get seven gigabytes of free storage with SkyDrive. With the Office 365 Home Premium subscription, you get an additional 20 gigs of uh, storage. And so now you're at 27 gigabytes of storage. As you can see here, here's my uh, Windows 8 screen. I have all my, uh, my Office applications. I have Outlook, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, OneNote, Publisher. But I also have my uh, SkyDrive set up. And so I use SkyDrive for pretty much everything I do. Um, I have all my Windows Phone photos uploaded to SkyDrive. Um, and so you can see I have all my documents, I have all my photos, um, these are the documents and, and videos that I've, I've recently accessed here. Um, and so again, I have you know everything from grocery lists at home, to uh, family budgets, to photo albums that I've created within, within um, the Office applications, automatically saved to SkyDrive. And open one, show me what happens, how it welcomes you back and tells you. Uh, so I will open up a recent uh, document that I have, and now we're in Word 2013. And so the first thing you'll notice is it signed me in as my as myself, and it'll give me a little uh, notice on the right hand side, which basically says "Welcome back." Do you want to pick up? Where, do you want to pick up where you left off? And so a lot of the times I'm in long documents, and I want to go directly. I don't want to have to you know, search them where I left off. And so this actually tells me um, exactly where I left off uh, the previous time I was in this document, um, as it recognizes um, who I am. Um, and so that's, you know, one example of some of the, uh, the changes we've made in Word. Um, we've also made, um, you know, some changes to how we consume it. So whether, again, whether you're on a PC, whether you're on a tablet, um, we want to make sure you have the ability to consume Word in different ways. And so um, we've optimized Word for both touch um, across devices. And so the scenario, you know, one of the scenarios I use SkyDrive for a lot, um, on my phone a lot is, is grocery lists. So I do the groceries at home, my wife has the ability to update it on her device, and I, I get those, um, I get those updates real time on my grocery list. Um, and so you can see here as she's updating things, I, I would automatically get them, um, to, you know, as she updates in real time. And so I'm not worried about physical grocery lists and worrying about losing them, worrying about forgetting things. It's all updated real time and so it allows us to communicate and collaborate a lot easier. And you don't necessarily have to be using a Windows device. For example, here I have SkyDrive open in my Mac. I can open the documents, open the particular document and you'll see that it opens up in the Word web app uh, for um, uh, screening and if I wanted to edit it, it's a matter of clicking on on the edit and edit in the Word app and as you can see I end up with a not a fully capable but pretty close uh, version of Word that enables me to edit the document when on a device that doesn't even have Office installed and you don't necessarily need a computer either most mobile devices will do for example take a look here I'm uh, editing on a uh, iPad mini, a Google Nexus 7, and even on a new BlackBerry Z10. In every case, the editing was very comfortable and smooth, and a terrific way, as far as I'm concerned, to deal with documents. Color me impressed.